I know you're gonna dig this. Welcome to Trek and Travel. My name's Cinnamon. Today we're going to be going over two different sleepers that Derek and I have stayed in and have experience with. Um, one is a 2019 AA sleeper, which is the one I'm in right now, and the other one is a 2020 Bolt sleeper. So we're going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a tour, but tell you about the things that we liked about it and then the things that we did not like about it. So I'm going to start off with the biggest um, difference, I would say, uh, when you're moving into any kind of a truck that you're going to want to pay attention to is going to be space for all of your stuff. So look at cupboards. So in this double A sleeper, we really liked that there were so many different cupboards because it kind of helps you uh, categorize, you know, instead of having a big old cupboard where you put a bunch of things in. So we like that there are a ton of different cupboards. So over here we have the cupboard that's above the microwave. You have a big closet one over here, which has the whole um, rack here that you can put clothes, hang them up. There's drawers down here. Um, this one doesn't come out because you have the, um, the sink, but it does fold down. So you have this tiny little drawer here and this one, they actually mounted the fire extinguisher and the box that has our emergency triangles. So you do have a little bit of room for something. We actually put our, um, our big container that had cat food in it. It was easy to grab even when the bed was down. Uh, you have all of these cupboards up here and then you have all these cupboards down here. The side ones, these actually go back a little bit further. So that's where you're going to get your bit, your most space. So although there are a lot of cupboards, kind of a downside of it is that they only go back so far. So they're not the deepest thing. The ones on the bottom do go back a little bit further than some of the ones on the top do. So if you are someone who likes to have totes and has it have it in a tote that you can just pull it out and have a lot of loose things, then you're not going to be able to have like a good sized tote. The, the openings are not very big to be able to do that. So that is kind of a downside. Another downside is that when someone's in the sleeper and the bed is down, you have all of those back ones that you can't get into while somebody is sleeping. So that's also something that kind of um, is maybe a, a downside. So you have the fan up top, which is awesome. I like where it is, but also the flap that comes down is in the way of opening up the cupboards and stuff. And for me, it just, if you're moving down the road and you're trying to get to something, it's sometimes it's inconvenient because I'm not tall enough to really hold it all the way up and open this door. So that's something that drove me a little bit crazy. Um, when both of the sleepers, the fridge and the freezer combination was the exact same. So there's nothing um, different with that. And so it's nice though that we have the fridge and the freezer over there too. For the TV, um, in this one, you liked where it was at. It felt a little, you know, a good distance. It's not the biggest TV or anything, but we did really like that. Something that we really liked and that was very convenient with the AA sleeper was that when we were sleeping and our head was on this end, we could just reach up and grab or change the fan, which the fan, uh, we felt it at our head, um, could get cold air or hot air. We could turn it on. Or if we heard something and we wanted to see where the cats were, we could be laying here and the light is right here. So it's within reach. That was always very, very convenient. And then you also had this spotlight as well, uh, which was within, which was within reach when you were sleeping as well. Something that I did like was that with the sink area that you're at, you have everything right here. If someone is sleeping in the sleeper and you want to change, put the APU on or anything like that, you can grab it right here while they're sleeping and you're not reaching over their head or anything like that. And you can also, the water heater is right here. So it's an easy switch right up here. Um, so here's the water pump, water heater. You can control the fan, the heater, everything from right here. And we actually, in uh, another video, if you wanted to check out our tour of our 2019 uh, Cascadia Freightliner, we showed that we had curtains that we, we did have uh, hanging up where somebody was sleeping in the sleeper, uh, that curtain would be pulled 
So then if I'm over here, it's not bothering anybody. So that was very convenient that that was right there. Something that I do like about this sleeper is that when the bed is down, uh, because of how the table is and it goes straight flat up against the bottom of the bed, when this is down, you we actually have a lot more space underneath it um, than the other one, which we will show you with that one. So we were able to put a cat litter, um, a bag and, you know, basically three different rows of different stuff we were able to put underneath it. So there was a lot of space underneath it to crawl. And for the cats, when the bed was down, um, this space from about here on down was completely clear. So they were actually able to go back into kind of like a nook. And so they like to run back there when they're doing their laps and stuff. So... <laughs> They really like that. Another difference between the two different sleepers is that in this AA sleeper, the windows actually move from one side to the other, where with the other one, it actually pu pushes out and pulls in. So that's the difference too. Another one of the difference is actually, and this is a huge thing for us, is going to be the curtains. Um, I'll talk about that and also about the rack. Um, over here, you can kind of see that when you get in and out of it, this is not above where the window is. So Derek's very tall and even I have hit my head on this and it really, really hurts. So you have to be careful. We got used to it, um, but I will say us coming in here uh, to shoot the video, we actually, Derek bumped his head again. I felt so bad for him. So we've actually, we've hit our head quite a few times on this. So that's a part that is definitely awful. Um, but something that we did really, really like is that with this type of curtain material, it has the magnets where it does close, but this is, which is the same as the other, but the material of this is a lot thicker. So it actually does block sound a lot of it. I could be in the front driving, you know, talking with my mom on the headset and Derek could be in the back and with the AP or not the AP on cause it wouldn't be on when I'm driving, but if he's in the back sleeping with the fans on and everything, he wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, or he could barely hear me if he was awake, you know, but it wouldn't be enough to wake him up or anything. Uh, whereas with the other one, you can hear plain as day as if they're not even closed. Um, another thing is that on this rack, these slide easy, but something that was really a pain is that the type of clasps that are on this rack, they actually, it doesn't seem like it right now, but they come off very, very easy. And they even come off this way too. So we would have to constantly put these back and up here too. And that was a really big pain in the butt. Another thing that we did like in this truck was we have a lot of space up here where um, we can store stuff. There was a possibility, depending on how well you stored stuff here, um, if it would fall down. So you just had to be careful on how you would set it up uh, so that it wouldn't, you know, fall over or anything. But we we kind of got used to it. We had everything set up the way we wanted to. And the other one is definitely different from there. Um, another thing that we did like was this big block of wood up here. Since the curtains are behind it, when they go over the rail and shut, they actually blocked the light from up there too. Um, so that was another thing that helped, you know, the curtains block sound, that piece of wood blocked light. So it was kind of a better um, system that we felt with blocking and helping you be able to uh, not have little factors that would wake you up or aid in that. Something that I definitely did like about this was uh, you'll have different faucets and some come are like high and come close to this. So when you put your hands underneath it to wash it, you have to go right here. And it's more of a possibility of the water running on here and getting into whatever's around it. But with this one, um, it's out. So you can be washing your hands and any water that comes off mostly is going to be in the sink unless you're like, <laughs> but for the, for the majority of the water, it's going to land in the sink because of how far this comes out. And that was something that I definitely really did like. So in the bolt sleeper, the cupboards are way different. So I will do, let's do this one for instance. They are way deeper and way bigger. 
So you can fit a lot of things back here. Here's like an extra bin of ours. And behind there even is a couple of gallons of water. So you can't even see it. That's how far back it goes. It goes all the way back that far. That's how far that one goes. So this is more uh, going to be more of a sleeper where you are going to use totes or bins to like pull things out, depending on what you're keeping in there. So we do have a lot of totes in ours. Um, I will say that it's great to have all that space and I do like using totes and everything. Um, but something that I don't like is that the, the opening of it is small. So it's kind of hard to get like, you know, the totes and stuff, um, in and out of it. Sometimes you have to pull one out in order to slide one over and then pull it out. Uh, for instance, here's one right here. And for these, these don't stay up. They, you have to like hold it up in order to squeeze stuff out. So over here we have a couple of uh, water gallons over here, but in order to pull them out, I have to take stuff out and then push them over and pull them out. So that's going to be kind of the case with, uh, with this bolt sleeper that we do have. So another difference with the bolt sleeper and the AA sleeper is the fan. Now I do love how it is over here and I do love that um, even with this down, it's not... It's only in the way of these two, but because these two are over the bed, the stuff that's in here is going to be stuff that I don't, uh, that I, that we use the least. So it's not really one that gets in the way of the cupboard space like the other one. Um, so I do like that, but the other one is way cooler. <laughs> the other one has several different speeds, whereas this one only has one. And then the other one has a remote where you can turn it on and off. This one, you have to push that button in order to turn it on. The other one, if it's raining, it has a sensor where it will automatically stop the fan and it will close. This one does not do that. And sometimes it's kind of hard I think it might be because we're also not used to not using a remote and we have to do it ourselves and it's new to us, but sometimes you can't even tell by looking at it which way is open, which way is closed, which that's something that we'll get used to. But having the remote was very, very convenient. So with the bolt sleeper, you have the slant over here where the fan is located. In the other one, the fan is more up there. So you have the whole row of cupboard space that you could utilize, whereas this one you're missing out on some extra space that you could use. On this one, something that is definitely different than the other one is you have this big safety net. <laughs> um, on the other one, you just have one seat belt that goes across. And although that's fine, this one, I definitely feel like if we were to roll or anything like that, I wouldn't be, you know, leaning over the seat belt. I would actually be caught, you know, all ends of my body would be caught with this and it's very entertaining to cats when they first <laughs> came on here and them trying to get used yeah. to it so something that's kind of cool that we did like was uh we have these lights that are located so if somebody comes back here and they don't want to turn on all the lights this goes under here so you can see what you're getting out the fridge obviously when you open the fridge the light's gonna go on but anyways and then it has these lights up here so if you're trying to get some stuff but you do kind of see it when you're in the sleeper, even though we have our curtain thing that we have that uh, my mother-in-law made. And so we have that to kind of help with the light, but there's still like that gap up top. Another thing with the bolt sleeper, uh, we were a little disappointed because although we were so stoked that we actually have a cooktop in here, we were actually disappointed because it was supposed to be indented um, where it was in and it was supposed to have a covering. So when the covering is on top of the burner, it would actually be flush, uh, with the countertop. Derek actually had to make this cover for it so that the cats wouldn't step on it and turn it on. Because even if you push the lock button, they could also unlock it <laughs> and, and turn it on. So when they built this, it's actually above when it wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be flush. So they kind of did mess up on that. So Derek had to take some time and build this so that that way the cat, cats don't accidentally turn that on. It's supposed to look like this where everything is flush. And so 
this was supposed to be something that you would take off and then it would be in indented. Still usable and everything, but this faucet was the one that we were talking about. It is so close. Like that's how close it is to the back part. So when I'm washing my hands, I have to go like this and try and catch the water because I can't catch it down here because since my hands are so close to this, this is where our TV is. And they do have a TV, co TV covering that goes over it for like if you're cooking and stuff. But I mean, if you, I, if I spill any water back here, I have to clean it up right away so that it doesn't run over and ruin our speaker that we have. So that part is a little uh, inconvenient. Something that we were a little worried about was since this is a bigger sleeper and our bed is further back here, the TV's further away. And so we were kind of a little worried about that because we're like, man, it's going to make it even harder to see. But something that we're really excited about is that with this TV, it has something where you can pull it down and it releases it to where you can move it. So you can actually move it closer to you and angle it so it's not so bad and it's not like in there so you can move it a bunch of different ways so we were very excited about that something that is very um convenient is they have these little pockets now they're not very deep but they do carry stuff that you're going to use a lot like your dawn dish soap over here hand sanitizer and you know we have actually a, a temperature gauge so we can tell what temperature is in here so it has a lot of things that you can put in here, small things, but I'm not going to open this right now um, just because of where our fan is and it's on a sticky thing. But this is actually a cupboard where when you open it, it's, it's wide enough to put spice bottles in. So if you are someone who uses a bunch of spice, you can put them in there. We have ours in like a little tote in the drawer, um, but we have this fan that has like a HEPA filter for the cat hair and stuff. So, so one of the biggest things that is kind of inconvenient for us is that the, f the placement of the fans, the, the water pump, the lights, all that stuff. So, um, down here is where we're going to have the panel to, uh, control the fan. Like if you want the AC on, um, if you want to turn the fan on and off, the inverter is over here too. And so you can't be sleeping here when you're all buckled in and the truck is rolling and you can't just turn off the fan or turn on the fan or turn on the light because where the head of the bed is, there's no light switch. There's not, there's the only thing that is over here is going to be the APU control system panel, which is right over here. So I've had before where we've parked and Derek's sleeping and stuff. So I have to sneak my hand back here and touch it and try and be as quiet as possible. <laughs> um, so the APU is over here and so is the heater. Um, so that is, but I've had it before where um, I wanted to see something or where the cats were and stuff. And so I've actually had to use my foot uh, because the light, the light switch is over here. So I've had to use it for that. And then um, the water pump is actually down here. So it's not right where the water is. It's just kind of inconvenient. So if you're trying to do anything when someone's back here sleeping, there's a couple of different placement issues that, you know, makes it where you have to be a ninja in order to uh, not wake them up. So with the other sleeper, with the AA sleeper, there was a separate switch that was for the water heater or um, there was the water pump and then the water heater. And with this one, something that is fantastic and a huge game changer, I will say, is that all you have to do is hit that water pump and the water gets hot like that. It is awesome. So you're not, you know, trying to warm it up or trying to like running all this water, waiting for it to get hot or anything. So that is a huge plus on this sleeper. Over here, you do have the windows that go in and out. Wait. Where it goes out and goes back in. Something that is a really big, um, I don't want to call it a problem, but a really big kind of grievance, I would say right now, because it does keep us up a little bit, is the whole fanning system. So the vents that blow out the air for the fans are at your feet. Um, the whole tubing for the AC and everything, or for the vans, uh, vans, 
go through here. And so you have the air coming down at your feet, which is great, but the vents that are out by your head, so there's one right above here in the corner and there's some over there too, nothing comes out. So there are vents that are by our head, but they have them, they don't have them set up to have any air that comes through and that's how they come. Um, which does not make any sense because everyone knows that when you're sleeping, you want that noise near your head and you want that cool air on you to help you sleep too. So that just really stinks. I will say that although it does have um, a lot of things that are not convenient with it, the bathroom does make a huge difference, but we can't really compare because the other one does not have a bathroom. Um, but if this one did not have a bathroom in it, I think I might be just a little grumpy with no air on my face and like kind of the placement of things. So um, there's that. But here are the curtains that we were talking about um, that have, they're very, very thin. They're cloth material instead of like a, a leatherish, you know, material that's thicker in the other sleeper. So these are very thin and I'm actually going to close them. And if I'm talking on the phone and I'm talking in the exact same tone that I was, you know, the exact same level and everything, you can definitely hear me. Like it makes absolutely no difference. Um, even with everything going on, even with the engine on and all that too. So that kind of really stinks. <laughs> so although the curtains don't block the noise that's coming from the front to the back when you're sleeping, something that is definitely a thumbs up for the Bolt Sleeper is that they do have a lot of insulation. So it does block a lot of the outside noises, which is very convenient when you're sleeping. Or if you are running the TCU, so we have our reefer running and that's going, usually it sounds like a lawnmower. In the other sleeper, uh, it does sound like a lawnmower is underneath your bed. So with this one, it's not as bad. So that's really, really awesome. So there is a plus and there is kind of a negative um, with these up here. So the plus is that since these are enclosed, you're not going to have things that are going to fall if you have to, you know, put on the brakes quick or anything like that. Or if you all of a sudden hit uh, stop traffic, you know, granted, you're going to have a lot of space in front of you, but sometimes you do have to stop anyways fast. Um, so this being enclosed, that is like a safety issue that is wonderful. The only thing that kind of stinks is that although there are these, this one, for instance, does not go back very far. That's about as far at the top and it does slant, but even the bottom part is about that, that big. Whereas the other one, it was bigger. Sorry. It was bigger more of a slant it did have the slant but you were able to put a lot more in it so um and then also you have the enclosed where this one actually goes through to the other one and then there's more space back here but the opening is small so it's kind of inconvenient you have to take stuff out in order to get the stuff against the wall so you have to make sure that when you're organizing and putting stuff up there um that you put stuff you're not going to use as much in like against the wall. It also has the side cupboards too. And I do like them because they're, they are, they're tall and they're, they do go deeper. So that's where you're, you're going to get your majority of your room is the ones on the side. Oh, and I do take out our clipboard and stuff a lot and I don't want to damage this. So that's why I put some blue tape right there. Something that we kind of want to see if they can maybe look at the next time we're at Bolt is we have the track that they put these curtains and these curtains, something, something that I definitely did like is that they're very easy to take down. Uh, the other ones you had to really, you know, since it was thicker material, you had to really pull to get them, you know, from behind the chairs and stuff. These are very easy and out of the way and they do slide very easy, but the ones that are over here. I don't know if there's some kind of issue with the track, but we literally have to push and I feel like we're going to break it. <laughs> um, but something that was kind of cool is that this does block out more light because um, I feel like it's it's closer at the top, whereas the other one, you know, had more space uh, between the top of the window and where the track starts. So since this one's higher and we're not hitting our heads on it, and that is definitely a big plus. Something that we did like about the other sleeper 
although it was shorter, we were able to fit our trash can behind our uh, chair. So if we were going to throw something away, we could reach it where we were sitting and be able to throw stuff away. For this one, there's no space under behind it because that's, you know, where the bathroom is and stuff. So in our bathroom, we do have our trash uh, thing. So we actually got this little tiny guy over here so that, you know, in between shifts, we can go ahead and empty them out for like the small things. But obviously, if it's a big thing, it hasn't really been a huge issue just to go in there and throw and throw stuff away. And actually, it being in there, the cats do stay out of it. So because they don't go in there. So <laughs> Okay, so the reason why we actually can't have a trash um, is because there's not really any room here. But it's also because we have this big wooden platform right here um which there was one in the other one but it was not this high off the ground at all and we've kind of gotten used to it but there have been several times where we've actually tripped over it because it's definitely something different and it's huge like it may not look like it's big but this is a big step to go to go over and everything so um that's one thing that we didn't like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to follow us, we are on Instagram, which is Truck and Travel YouTube. We are also on Facebook, which is Truck and Travel LLC. And whenever we go live on YouTube, we go ahead and post that link on there. So if you don't get a notification from YouTube, you should get it from Facebook if you are following our business page on there. We will be doing more lives and we are also going to be on Twitch. We are on Twitch right now, but if you would like to follow us on Twitch, it's Truck and Travel and we will be doing mo the majority of our lives on Twitch. So if you'd like to hop on and join the conversation, that's one way you guys can follow us. So let us know if you guys have any questions about either of the sleepers, um, any observations you may have or anything you guys would like to add, what the weather is like in your area, how your week's going, and just tell us, say hi. <laughs> let us know that you're here. Go ahead and drop it in the comments. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.